you. Remember this lovely picture. This is a Chinese artist trying to depict America as an evil, terrible force, right? Yeah, you but all, that, right? all he ever ended up doing is make America look badass. Oh, I mean, let's be, let's just pause it there for a second. Yeah. Which team do you want to be? Like, if you have a choice to pick, which team do you want to be on? I'd be on that, like, Thunderbird cloud-looking eagle thing. I wouldn't be like, let's just stand here like a bunch of spectators. <laughs> you know what I mean? That thing is amazing. Yeah. I see, th- I'm not a very patriotic person. Right. I would say I'm a patriot in that, like, I believe in the values of my country. Sure. And I'll do anything to, to fight for it, right? Yeah. But I'm not, like, a nationalist, sure. right? I, when I see this picture, yeah. I full patriot mode. I hear <laughs> yeah. an eagle screech in my heart. Yeah, it's That's pretty incredible. cool. Incredible. It is such a cool picture. So they made a new one. This time, <laughs> Chinese artist has made this. Okay. I mean, paint me red, white, and blue at this point. Yeah. So <laughs> this is like incredible. This is supposed to be America, right? This, uh, what do they call it? Military industrial complex or whatever. So you've got this big monster, which looks kind of like the alien from Aliens. Well, from Alien. Um, it's got like an F-14 as a shoulder. It's got an aircraft carrier as part Take of it. Out of there so Stinger, can see the Stinger missiles. You know what I mean? It's pretty badass. You can see the full thing. Mm-hmm. And the only thing standing up to this huge monster, which, by the way, is backing Ukraine because there's yeah. a Ukrainian tank there, is a Russian tank. So, so China, again, yeah. backing Russia. So Chinese artists made this. Yes. Yeah. And what they're doing is they're feeding this beast money, piles of money, kind of like the military industrial complex, while yes. the, the boss at the top sits on top is like the commander of this alien looking thing. Yeah. Awesome. It's, it's Looks cool. amazing. Now, it's I, cool. I don't endorse war in any form. I'm yeah. a bit of a pacifist, but I got to say from a comic book perspective, that's badass. Yeah, and I don't really get what the message is here because they're fighting against a military tank. So yeah. it's like, what is the statement here? Is that, the, <laughs> is that well, there's military fighting military, but one of them is better than the other. <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of, like the the tools used by the Americans here are much superior to the Russians. This is what I take away. It's kind of interesting it. they choose an F-14 Tomcat because that's really old tech, you know, developed in the 50s or whatever, you know. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah, why that? They don't use those anymore. No, dude. They were retired in the 90s. Right. So, so I don't know. I guess they're probably out of touch. Yeah. They're stuck in Top Gun or whatever. Yeah, that's what it is. Totally. Anyway. Awesome picture. So yeah. I, I just wanted to say congratulations and thank you to the Chinese artists that are trying to make America look bad because you're just bolstering. You just make America look looks. badass. Yeah. Like to people on the fence, they'll look at this and they'll be like, fuck yeah. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, I hope they have a toy line. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Anyway, um, what else do we have over here? We got some Da Bai's doing something. Oh, so this, guys, guys, guys. Okay. Do you know what Lime is? Yes. I'm just rhetorically okay. to the audience. You know what Lime is? I'm not talking about, you know, there's a lot of non English. It's like, not lemon and lime. Yeah, you know? I understand. There's a lot, but there's a lot of people out there that don't speak English as a first language that listen yeah. to us. Uh, lime is a caustic mineral, right? Yeah. And it's used to for a multi- multitude of reasons, right? But lime by itself is very costly. It will cut through. Um, it will cut through your skin. Cut through your skin. It'll like cut burns away your concrete. skin. They actually use lime to get rid of decomposing bodies. If right. you put it on a dead body, it'll yep. actually like eat away the body. But um, the fact of the matter is, is what the, these Darbai are doing. By the way, yes. Darbai is what people call these guys in the hazmat suits. What are these guys doing with lime? So they're <laughs> the idea was, and this is. Let me show you how effed up. Sorry for yeah. running my efforts too much today. I'll try to calm down. So this yeah. is what they're doing is that there was this thing that was going around where the government in Shanghai was saying, we are using disinfectants and it's clearly not working. Yeah, because they've been walking around with those. Right. You've seen seen them spraying yeah. like, sure. you know, this chemical disinfectant everywhere, which is obviously terrible for the environment and for people's health. Oh, yeah, health. horrible, right? So yeah. what they do is they go, you know what? Stronger is caustic lime. Yeah. So what they actually did, and let me show you how this, in, you know that... Picture of the military industrial complex. Yeah. That's kind of like how China works when someone has Guanxi, which yeah. means a connection. So yeah. obviously a lime company, because it was promoted in the beginning, by the way. Yeah. A lime company got some sort of contract, right? Yeah. With the local government. And the local government's like, we're going to spread lime everywhere. And they buy it in massive quantities. And the company's like, hell yeah. Yeah. Probably because they had Baijiu one night and they said, this is going to be a good idea. Mutually beneficial. Mm-hmm. We're getting central government money. Can trickle down here. You can use it in our lime factory. Yeah. Right. So they're. I mean, these poor bastards. Some of these guys don't have ventilators on. 
Yeah. Imagine breathing that. No, it's ba- it's very bad <laughs> for you. The fact of the matter is though that they're throwing it on the road to disinfect it. That's what that's what you know the whole yeah. premise behind this is. COVID is on the street, right? Yeah. On the ground. Yeah. <laughs> what they're going to do is actually mm-hmm. damage the road and yeah. also damage the foliage next to the road because they're throwing it on there as well. It's going to kill those plants easily. And it's not good to have this kind of caustic crap around, no. you know, for people to breathe and so, what have you. So bad. It's a very bad idea. And right. in fact, this whole idea that they, you know, they've been running around. We should have got that clip of the, the chemical stormtroopers, you know. Yeah. They've been running around spraying huge amounts of disinfectant chemicals on everything and everywhere. Mm. They're even talking about now removing people from their homes and going into their homes to spray this chemical disinfectant on everything, even if you're negative. Yeah. Because they're trying to reach for ways to stop the spread of COVID. And now they're like, well, it must be coming from somewhere. So let's get people out their homes, completely disinfect their homes, and then put them back in. New report today, by the way, from the the Chinese government. You won't believe this, but again... Uh, imported cases are the reason for COVID in China, and they're all coming from uh, in international packages. Oh, it's international they're, they're packages. They're doing it again. It's dumb. Anyway, so uh, we just thought we'd show you some of this madness. Um, this is what happens when you just don't know what you're doing and you throw things against the wall and hope something sticks. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah.